Hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. So I know you guys absolutely love A-frame cabins, actually the most popular type of video on my channel currently. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the G-frame cabin. It's a combination of an A-frame cabin and a softbox cabin. It also comes with a Scandinavian sauna and some really cool amenities out back. And it's also a tiny cabin. It's 200 square feet. It's also off-grid and solar powered. So it has a lot to offer. It's incredibly unique. I'm also currently standing on a 24 acre parcel of land here in New Hampshire. The sun just set. I'm out in nature and you can in the towel. I'm just really happy to be here. It just really an incredible, unique listing on Airbnb. So if you want to check out this G-Frame cabin, I'm going to link it out in the video description below as always. And also you want to save money off of your next Airbnb booking. I'm going to put my Airbnb code as well down in the video description. Be sure to use that for your next booking to save some money. But without further ado, let's hop into a tour of this tiny 200 square foot off-grid solar powered G-frame cabin. Wow, that was a lot, let's go. So as soon as you arrive at the owner's house, you're going to park her car right here. And they actually left behind this wagon. It's very helpful. It's about a three to four minute walk from here to the cabin. So if you had a bunch of stuff like I did, this is very useful. We're gonna go ahead and get to walk towards the cabin. Again, it's about a three to four minute walk. So we're gonna go into hyperdrive right here and begin to head more into the fields. And as you get a little bit further down, there's actually a crossroads right here. And the reason being, there's actually a glamping tent as well here in the property. Again, I only stay in the cabins. I didn't check out the glamping tent that much, but it looks really cool. So in case the cabin is booked and you still want to check out this property, I highly suggest it. Looks like a very interesting and of course unique Airbnb property right out here in the field. We're going to walk about another two minutes into the next field to get to our cabin. Again, it's about three to four minutes total. And it is, as you can tell by now, definitely off grid. If you had a bunch of stuff like I did, I had a lot of camera gear, so it was very heavy. Again, the wagon is very, very heavy helpful. And now we're going to begin to see the cabin off there in the distance. And actually here on the right hand side now, you're going to see some of these solar panels. So there are four solar panels right here. The entire cabin actually has four electrical outlets. I thought that was a really nice touch. I've never stayed in a solar powered place before. We are now on final approach to the cabin. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the G frame cabin, which is what the host called this. Again, it's a combination of a salt box and an A frame cabin that the owners have dubbed the G frame cabin. Cabin. It's a really cool outdoor setup here as well. There's a fire pit, a grill, all that good stuff, which I'll get into more in just a bit. And I'm sure you're also noticing the barrel sauna off here on the left-hand side, but absolutely love the design of this, the exterior. And I'm sure you're noticing that roof. That's why it's called the G-frame. Again, the combination of the salt box and the A-frame because it was an A-frame cabin, it'd be much more kind of pointed. Uh, but this has kind of a very interesting angle up top on the roof. I decided to make a fire. This was taken right around sunset around golden hour or so. It's a beautiful time of the night, but also in regards to location, again, guys, this is located in New Hampshire, but it's really, truly off-grid. It has its own field, and you can't even see the glamping tent or any neighbors or anything like that. You know, some places might call themselves off-grid, but you might perhaps still, again, see neighbors or hear a highway off in the distance. Not here at the G-Frame. It's really just truly an incredible place to disconnect and be in nature. We're now going to zoom in a bit and finally check out the barrel sauna here on the left hand side. I'm sure a bunch of you have been eyeing. So I actually previously have been to Scandinavia. I went into a bunch of saunas just like this. I kind of felt like I was back in Norway or Finland because saunas are such a big part of life over there. But now we're going to go inside and you can definitely, it's quite spacious actually, fit probably a couple people in here. I mean, two, three, four people if you really wanted to. I think it's definitely a really nice added amenity. I definitely was not expecting this at a place so off grid and remote. So um, hats off to the owner for a creative amenity. Now I want to cover a few more of the outdoor amenities. There's actually still a lot more to see. So the first being right here is a little kind of smoking grill. So I think it's definitely good for burgers or some hot dogs. And now this is actually behind the cabin. I guess basically in the backyard. It's kind of a nice little sitting area uh, right over here. Kind of looking over into the ravine, over into the woods, which is really nice. Now on the other side as well, this is now on the back end of the cabin, is the additional firewood is out here. And also an outdoor shower. Shower, which I thought was pretty nice. There was no shower inside, it's outside right here. And zooming a little bit closer as well, this is some, I guess, the hot water and some shampoo and you know some of your shower supplies. There's some potable water down here. Uh, there's your garbage. And then also off here on the right-hand side, in case you run out, there's some firewood and some fire supplies out back as well. One of the last amenities as well, I'll cover outdoors. Actually, there's a hammock out here. Again, really nice, you're just in the woods and just especially later in the day uh, when things are kind of toning down, you can 
can basically just sit here and I tested it out. Uh, it was really relaxing again, just, you know, listening and being in nature to all the insects and all the birds. And again, just really relaxing here. So I actually decided to basically uh, just take a nap and, uh, and kick it out here. And again, just looking off into the left-hand side is the ravine and actually another field. So again, there's so much land out here. Just such an amazing property. Now we are finally going to head inside to the G-Frame cabin as we inch a bit closer. And welcome to the interior, ladies and gentlemen, of the G-Frame cabin. As we inch up top, you can see the loft and that very interesting looking ceiling that is the G-Frame, which I'll explain a bit later. But this is again, the kind of main sitting area. This is the entrance. As soon as you walk in, you'll see this. There's the wood stove, there's the couch, there's the ladder, there's the table. This couch as well, I find to be quite comfortable. As you edge up a little bit higher, you're gonna see this really cool art piece for some kind of bowl and horns. So thought that was pretty cool. Now it's just kind of looking out into the ravine. Actually, there's some books. There's a speaker. There's one of those outlets down there. There's some fire star. There's the wood stove. There's the binoculars. There's a lot to see on this side as well. But again, kind of a nice little view looking out into the ravine as you see from this angle. I definitely want to point out the wood stove section some more. I never needed the wood stove when I was there because it was pretty hot actually inside the cabin. So I was fine, perhaps more in the winter months. But now as you veer up more top above the wood stove. It's a really cool area. You can tell the host put a lot of time in terms of the decorations here from the paintings to the ornaments to the plants. They put a lot of time and effort to this. I think most hosts and designers would have just left this entire wall space blank, but you can tell they put a lot of time and effort to kind of selecting each of these individual little art pieces right here. We're now going to turn our attention to kind of the last area on the first floor of the ground floor we haven't covered yet, and that is the dining table right here. So it has enough seating for four people here at the table, so more space definitely makes 200 feet feel pretty big in my opinion. Now as you take a little bit closer look at the kitchen area, there's actually a very well-stocked kitchen in my opinion. Again, for a 200 square foot off-grid cabin, I honestly wasn't expecting that much. I definitely exceeded my expectations. Everything from bowls to pots and pans, um, all that good stuff. Also, the sink was really cool. So it's really cool, like floral design. Uh, it has one of those little burners right there so you can heat up some soup or make some pasta. And off here on the right hand side, there's kind of some spices and some additional little cups and pans and glasses on this side. Now we're going to the last room on the ground floor and that is the bathroom. I'm sure you might have guessed by now this is an off-grid cabin. So there is obviously a compost toilet. But now off on the right hand side, there's some toilet paper, a lamp and some frames, some hand sanitizer. It's basically all the bathroom essentials the host thought of. So that was a really well stocked in the bathroom. There's some directions right here on how to correctly operate the compost toilet, but really nice bathroom setup. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button. It helps to be shown to more people here on the platform. Also consider subscribing. I release weekly videos just like this. I'd love to have you around for the next episode. We are now finally going to head up top to the loft where the bed is. And I actually asked the owner, so I was like, how'd you come up with this design? You know, this G-frame, I've never seen it before. They said basically they're about to start building an A-frame cabin, but they decided they want some more space up in the loft. So they pretty simply just decided to bump out one of the walls. And this is the loft that was born right here. You can see kind of right behind the bed, very kind of funky looking, you know, ceiling, everything. I've never seen ankles like that before. I thought it was super cool. It's actually quite spacious. I didn't feel cramped all up here. You get your lamp and a mirror and you know a little fan an outlet all that good stuff now looking down into my favorite wall again this is towards the wood stove you see a kind of a closer look again all the plants some mirrors some hanging ornaments and a really cool painting of an owl so definitely i think my favorite wall favorite section of this cabin now it's just me kind of dangling my feet uh, over the ladder now looking out back towards the entrance uh, towards the fire pit area it's kind of a cool angle to show you just the very unique design here at the g frame cabin Hope you guys enjoyed the tour of this really unique G-Frame cabin. If you did, please help me out. Give this video a like, give it a thumbs up. It really helps it to be shown to more people on the platform. Also, send this to a family member, send this to a friend. If you want to travel here, potentially stay in this G-Frame cabin, I highly recommend it. If you're in the New Hampshire area or just anywhere in the Northeastern United States, definitely check it out. Also, if you've not yet subscribed and you're watching this, please consider subscribing. Guys, I have a ton, a ton of videos planned out for you the rest of this year. I have about another 30 or 
or so video shoots planned all over the United States. So be sure to subscribe for weekly videos. I cover everything from A-frame cabins to tree houses to tiny homes, you name it. I'm also gonna link up my playlist here above. I also done two other A-frame cabin videos and just tons of other really unique Airbnbs. So if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you can find some other videos on my channel you would like watching. So go ahead and check out my playlist, watch more videos. I'd really appreciate the support. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next episode. Woo!